So I'm Rob Hickman with Advanced Flight Dynon Avionics. This year we have are introducing our brand new AF6600. Uh, it's an upgrade to our AF5600. We've got a new processor, a new LCD, um, greatly improved performance. Our old screens, the EFIS would run at 20 hertz and the MAP would run at 5 hertz. With the new processor, we're running 60 hertz updates with everything on the screen at once. So the map is glass smooth and turns, it boots quicker. The new LCD then is actually a flush mounted. The, it's brighter, the colors are much more vivid, and it's more modern looking. So it looks like an iPad or an HDX. So it's modern, fast, it's our latest thing. Completely integrates with any of our AF45, 55, or 5000 series systems so you can mix and match. It is exactly the same connections, wiring, and mounting is an AF5600 10-inch screen. So this has our new concentric knob. Notice it looks like a radio knob here. So we're on map. If we wanted a sectional, we would just click up to sectional and you can see how quick it, it loads. There's a low, high. The other thing we do that's new is if you do direct to or actually touch an airport, we've modified the airport menu. These are actually buttons now. So if you hit tower, it automatically puts the tower in. If you're flying along and you want to know what the TP, typical pattern altitude is, it automatically knows it. It puts your altitude bug to it, so you don't have to write it down and adjust the altitude bug. It also gets ADS-B or XM wind and altimeter settings. So if you push there, it'll set the altimeter. It automatically picks the best runway. It tells you the crosswind, headwind. And so in this case, it's picked runway 19. If you touch that, it automatically puts lead and arrows onto the map in the flight plan for runway 19. But one thing we do differently is if you're talking to ATC and they tell you to fly heading 230 at 8,000 feet, the way most deep is you have to do is you turn the knob or tenor. With ours, you can hit track. 230 use these knobs because of turbulence. You can then hit altitude, 8,000 feet. Instead of turning the knobs, it's much quicker. You get your eyes back out and look at it. Supply chain. So about nine months ago, we'd always used Mitsubishi displays. And we got notified that Mitsubishi was getting out of the LCD business. So that was really what made us look for a new LCD. And honestly, the old Mitsubishi was getting kind of aged. So the new ones are brighter. They, they just look better. We actually took the time to have custom cover glass made. So the touch screen is custom. It was all built to our specs, so the logo is actually logoed on, put on it, and we could flush mount it then, so it made it more compact. We also took a lot of weight out of it. Our screens are now a pound lighter. There's a, the rear case is shorter and smoother. The other thing we did is we used to have a joystick. Touch screens have gotten so good, and everybody's used to their iPad or their phone. We found most people didn't need a joystick anymore. So we got rid of that, and we actually put in this new dual encoder, concentric encoders. So it makes it much easier to move around, to tune radios. It's a much better interface using that. So we upgraded that at the same time. The other thing, because of supply chain problems, we've actually moved all of our screens to the new processor. So if you have a 5700 or a 5600 or the 5500, we will have a processor upgrade. And anything we've actually shipped in the last three months already has the new processor. So there's a lot of people that have them and don't even realize it yet. So surprise, you've, you've got a free upgrade. So we have our, what we decided to do was before we design new parts in, we make sure that we have them in-house before we do the engineering because of supply chain. So we have, process, we have a lot of processors, a lot of screens, so supply chain should not be a problem, at least for the foreseeable future on 6600s. So our advanced panels are running about a four month delivery. That's where we build the whole panel for you. It uses our advanced control module. We design the panel working with you, so we'll do the layout. We do the laser cutting or routering, we powder coat and we label the panel and send you a drop-in panel ready to go. Currently, we've got a pretty big backlog. It's about four months. I think we're quicker than most because we, with our advanced control module and pre-built harnesses, we don't have to do near as much wiring work. It's kind of like we grab the harnesses and send to them and it's all figured out, so it's much quicker. Most of the delay is getting time with engineering to design and move things around your panel. So we're in building D, come by and see us, you'll see our RV10 out front and we're the whole corner of the building.